Hi there, uh, I'd just like to do a quick run through of the content editing on for Ecological Society. Uh, Drupal is the content management system here. And I've got three things to go through. One is um, how to produce longer style documents for uh, academic style publishing. And how to, the second point is how to go through uh, versioning so that people can collaborate better and see what other people have changed. And the third thing is there's a bibliography tool that's quite um, quite sophisticated. It has a lot of import uh, linking facilities that I'd like to show. So just so I can get ideas on um, whether it's appropriate to be applied. So the first point um, is creating longer documents, academic style ones. The web is normally best suited to producing uh, short one to two page, maybe a little bit longer, um, documents that people can comfortably read online. Also, editing in the content management system, only one person can edit one um, web page at a time. So how we do this, um, the Drupal has a book module which lets you link all pages together and then create a larger, a more extensive work out of that. So how we do this, um, we first go through and create a book. Now this is our um, groups set up. So Fire Ecology here is a group that we've set up for demonstration purposes. And to create a new book, the first point is I've got to create an outline for the book, which is, which you just go create a new article here. And I create Fire Ecology 2012 manual, something like that. This is the title of our book. You can tag it because it has the um, it has the uh, semantic tagging, logical tagging there, and we don't really need a body in this case. And it's already in the group content. We need to click on this box here, and this is part of the process will streamline that says create new book. So I want to create a new book and I go down the bottom and I push save and then I've got a new book. Like that. So now I can um, browse to the book, like normally you'd browse via your dashboard, and but it's here. And so I can go add a child page. And this is, a, say, chapter one. One extreme fire events may tag it with something else. I'll go over to my um, office document and find um, oops, find some text. So it's here. I'm going to create this text. Copy it out of there, put it in here. Delete this junk at the top. So um, this is put some text in using the rich text editor. The best way of course here is again to do it semantically which is um, which is to define a style like here you call this heading one instead of um, well it's heading two because heading one's the top. So rather than um, lay it out with Arial and all those sort of things. So I've got a first chapter there. Go down and push save. And so that's our chapter, um, Extreme Fire Events, and it's linked in with a book. You can see here, if I go back to the top of the manual, I get a table of contents, and if there was an introduction to the book, it would be here. So I can go back and just quickly demonstrate the versioning capability. So in our edition, there's an edit button over the right here, which lets you edit in context. I can add some more text. to learn how to type more text. Okay, so we've got some more text. I can go down here and I can create a new version. Now we can automate this. It's called revision. Uh, so we create a new, a new revision. Um, more text. And so we can automate this bit. So as always, um, I think it's part of the workflow that we can design. So I've created a new revision. So now I've got um, a 
extreme fire thing with two revisions. And so that's that. Now, I can, now I've got this um, highlighting tool which shows the changes between the revisions. So there's our two revisions. Um, I can go like this and it'll show the actual change text, added text in green there. So um, that's our text changes. So the other thing that we wanted to show was the bibliography tool. Okay, so the bibliography tool, um, we can create a new bibliography entry by going to our group again. Um, it's group content at the moment. We can choose to make the um, content related to a group or an individual or the whole society. And so we've got bibliography here. Um, the bibliography tool has all these um, different import methods, so you can just like copy and paste in a record that's in the right format here, and it'll automatically format where you go, um, so you don't actually have to fill out the form. Um, you could also use some of the online services, like um, some of the web service lookup tools, and some of them are subscription-based. Um, so, interested to see on what people use. That's this Crossref thing. So, you could link in with um, Crossref. So, we're going to create a manual book um, publication type. I'm going to, going to use my book, which is like uh, Reggie Sultan. Uh, so call me an uncontrollable child. There you go. So, it's a book. Um, all the authors are here. The authors can be. Um, entered, like it'll automatically look it up in the system if it's already got it. So um, I put Reggie Sultan in there. I, the publication, you can put the abstract, the full text in, of the whole of the document if you want. Um, the publication is the mandatory field, and this guy is 2008. And a uh, standard kind of set of fields for um, for bibliography details but at the moment I've got my enough stuff in there to save it so I go down here save and I've got a um, new bibliography entry I'm gonna going to go and quickly and look at that because the key on these are this um, identifier which you can only find by going here edit and so the identifier is um, 157 so this is Ideally, what we have is we can go to the content and link the content to the bibliography entry, which is Extreme Fire Events again. I go in here, I push Edit, and the ideal way is, um, say we went to this, clicked on this footnote link here in the text, typed in um, Reggie Sultan, and we'd be good. Um, but at the moment we have, um, you just type in some code like this, which is bib uh, 157 colon bib. Oh, bib. And so that actually, if we get that in the uh, text somehow, then we end up with um, a footnote. Now, the stylist footnote is obviously highly controversial in academic publishing, but we've got that and it creates a jump link to the actual. Um, entrance entry bibliography entry which isn't complete on um, laid out according to your template uh, and it's here this is so this is how the, this is a footnote and this is how the bibliography entry um, links together okay thanks for your time